The next step, step four, is communicate, communicate, communicate. You need to make sure that your employees are involved. And as a matter of fact, one of the first things you need to do is you need to find out who the champion is. You know, there's always one or two people that work for you who like new things. They, um, they're the ones that have the nicest um, smartphones, um, or they are the ones that, uh, you know, when you get some, a new piece of equipment, they want to try it or some new chemicals, they want to be the person who tries it and test it out for the group. So find out who your champions are and spend some time with them early on in the process to help them to understand what you're trying to do and you know what business problems you're trying to solve and get their input because you know they're in the field. They, they can give you really good input um, as to you know whether they think that's an issue or that's not. And then you need to work to create employee buy-in before your implementation. So, so the first thing is you get the champions uh, involved, you get them to understand everything, and then when you have that company meeting and talk about, you know, you're going to roll out, you know, tablets in your organization or whatever type of software you're going to roll out, that the employees that you get those employees to buy in, and the champions are going to be instrumental in doing that for you, because after that 30-minute meeting is over. You need people that are with them in those cars um, or on the job or um, just sitting around talking in the office to talk positively about what you're trying to implement. So it's really important to, to find the champions and then you know, work to create employee buy-in. Um, when you're talking to your employees, you want to go through the business justification, why you know, you've decided to, to roll out the software, what you think you're going to get from it, how it's going to benefit them. I mean, you know, employees want to know what's what's in it for me, um, what's in it for my customer. You know, how are they going to benefit? Do they do they think that's important? Um, you need to get them excited, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this. But you know, this should be an exciting part of your business. So make sure that you're you're spending time and effort to to get folks excited about what you're doing. I can't say this enough. But I'm going to try. Um, you've got to over communicate. You've got to talk to your employees about what the the time frames that you're you're going to you know use to roll out the software. You've got to talk about what the risks are. You know because if you have to stop the implementation in the middle of it, they need to understand why. You know that you're not failing. That there's a risk there, and and that you're not going to put the business at risk because of that, or you're not going to make their day miserable because um, you know something was not working correctly. So you know, make sure they understand that you know um, what the risks are. And then the next thing is, I think it's important to paint the picture of what life looks like after you've implemented the software. What is their day going to look like? Walk them through it. You know, walk them through what's going to happen. Talk to them about how it's going to make their day easier, or it's going to make the customer's life easier, or it's going to be good for the business. Or by the saving money, you're going to be able to do more for them. All of these different things create employee buy-in, and it's super important anytime you roll out software or, like I said, even a new process or procedure.